Tonight, President Biden is calling on Republicans in Congress to support stricter gun control measures after yet another mass shooting, this time at a bank in Louisville, Kentucky. At least four people were killed and eight others injured, including police officers. This is the nation's 145th mass shooting this year. Police have identified the shooter as 23-year-old Connor Sturgeon, a bank employee. Police say he live-streamed the shooting using a rifle before he was fatally shot by officers. President Biden issued two statements in response. One reading in part, once again, our nation mourns after a senseless act of gun violence. Too many Americans are paying for the price of inaction with their lives. When will Republicans in Congress act to protect our communities? Illinois Senator Dick Durbin also took to Twitter, writing in part, another Monday in America, another mass shooting, the 16th since the Nashville school shooting. My heart breaks for the families and friends of the victims and those wounded lawmakers at every level of government. Government must set aside their differences and pass gun safety reforms. Kentucky's Governor Andy Bashir says that he lost two close friends in today's mass shooting. Investigators just gave an update. Nate Foy has the latest. Another community grappling with immense loss in the wake of another deadly shooting. Let's be clear about what this was. This was an evil act of targeted violence. Police in Kentucky say a lone gunman opened fire inside a downtown Louisville branch of the Old National Bank at about 8.30 Monday morning. First responders arrived on scene within three minutes. As they approached, gunshots were still being fired. Officers exchanged gunfire with the suspect who died during the incident. The suspect shot at officers. We then returned fire and stopped that threat. Witnesses report a man walked into the bank and started shooting. Multiple people were killed and several others wounded, including two police officers. But officials say the quick response by law enforcement helped prevent even more loss of life. It is clear from the officer's response that they absolutely saved people's lives. This is a tragic event, uh, but it was, it was the heroic response of officers that made sure that no more people were more seriously injured than what happened. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir rushing to the scene, asking for prayers for the victims, including some that he knew personally. We lost four children of God today, one of whom was one of my closest friends. Agents from the FBI and ATF are assisting local officials with this ongoing investigation. In New York, Nate Foy, Fox 32 Chicago.